I'm Kat, and in this tutorial I'll show you how to make these infinity knot bracelets. What I love about these is that they're so customizable. As long as you have a cord or a lace, it doesn't really matter how big it is, what color it is, what texture it is, it'll work for this project. There are also several different ways that you can clasp these off to finish your work, and I'll show you just a few of those methods. For this project you'll need some scissors, jewelry pliers, cord or lace, end crimps, lobster clasps, jump rings, and if you don't have end crimps, you can use eye pins or head pins. To start, you'll want to measure your lace to fit two times around your wrist and then subtract one inch. Then cut four pieces of your lace or cord to that measurement. Start by taking a piece of lace, make a U shape with it, and then cross the tails over. Hold those down with your ring and middle finger. Take a second piece of lace, put it under the round shape you've made, hold one end down with your index finger and grab the other end. Then you'll want to put that end underneath the bottom tail of your first piece. Now it gets a little complicated. You're going to weave over, then under, and then over again. Make sure that you do this step correctly. Then you can let go of the bottom tail once you've got that step done. And you'll have a funky little shape like this. Take a good look to make sure you got it right. Then you'll want to add in your additional laces. You can add two or three, maybe even four. Basically just repeat all the steps by following where your original laces went until you've doubled or tripled your laces. Once you're satisfied with how many laces you have, grab all of the tails and pull everything tight. If all of that was a little bit too tricky, you can also try holding everything down with three pieces of tape and then adding in your additional laces. Here on this bracelet, I've added in three laces. Once you're satisfied with however many laces you've added in, you can push and pull on the various ends of strings to make sure all the legs are roughly the same length. Then you can trim off any minute discrepancies and you're ready to finish off your bracelet. There are a few methods you can use. In this one, you'll see I'm taking smaller end crimps and attaching one to every single one of the legs on my bracelet. This can be a little bit time consuming because you have to pinch shut the end crimps on every single leg, which adds up to eight different legs on your bracelet. Once that's done, you attach them all to the same jump ring and attach that jump ring to another closed jump ring. That gives you something to close the bracelet with and then open up another jump ring to attach your lobster clasp. And that is your finished bracelet. Another method is to put two legs into one end crimp if they'll fit, or if you have large end crimps and you're using flat laces, this might be a good option. You just put all of the legs together and then pinch it shut as hard as you can. It's a little bit sloppy, so it's not my favorite, but this one works well for most people. Then you attach the clasp the exact same way. And this last method is a little bit trickier. You'll want to start with a loop on the end of your pin. If you're using an eye pin, the loop is already there. Then grab the head pin below the loop and bend it all to one side. Then you can grab the loop and then bend it again. If you're grabbing the loop, it'll bend in the correct direction. And you're just going to make a space for your cords to sit in. You're essentially making a U that the cords will fit into with a little loop that sticks off the end of the cords. Then you'll want to grab everything and keep bending your head pin or eye pin around the cords. You'll want to pinch it and then bend it again, pinch it in the other direction and bend it some more. This will ensure that you're tightening everything up as you wrap the cord around and that way everything is going to end up secure at the very end. You have to make sure that you pinch it as you go or everything's just going to slip out. So once you've wrapped your cord completely around your bracelet, you'll want to make sure that the very end of the pin is sticking into the bracelet so it's not going to scratch your wrist. Then give it one last really good pinch and make sure nothing is going to slip out. And finish that off with your jump rings and your lobster clasp the exact same way you did with your other types of end crimps. And these are the finished products. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Shut up! What is wrong with them? Hi, I'm Kat.